Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to your C-Sharp tutorial series. Now in this video, we are going to be building out our first inheritance hierarchy. Now there's bad news and there is good news. Which would you like to hear first? Me too. So the bad news is that all that code we've written throughout the series, I literally just deleted it all. So we're literally starting from scratch. I mean, we have this user class with these properties, but all those methods we made, gone. The good news, is that that's all gone so we don't have to worry about it because honestly I just get tired of looking at it. It makes me nauseous. And I don't want to be throwing up on camera or on audio because I don't want you guys to have to listen to that. So we're just going to start fresh. What are we going to be doing though? Well we have this user class and I want to start thinking of users as more a general class. <laughs> so I'm going to be creating more classes that inherit from user because there might be different types of users. And personally, I'm thinking of maybe a website or something that could have students and teachers. So these are both users on the application, but they're different in nature, but they have some things in common. So I think we could put the things in common inside this user class and then put the things different in the subclasses. So the student and the teacher. So that's the goal. Let's get started. It's going to take some time to get everything figured out, but we're going to get the basics in this video. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So first thing, most people are gonna have a first name and a last name, so that's gonna stay the same. And I also thought I would leave this read-only property which combines first name and last name. Nice and simple. But another thing I wanna add in here is actually a Boolean called verified. And this is gonna be a property as well. So we'll say public, public, <laughs> my golly, public bool verified. And then we'll just say get set. So what exactly do I mean by verified? Well, it's a little vague here and maybe that's a good thing, but I'm thinking, you know, you create your account, then you have to verify your email. Well, we could basically have this stored in the user's information, whether they have a verified account. And maybe that allows them to do certain things or prevents them from doing certain things, depending on whether they're verified or not. We can default this to false. That way, by default, every single user has a false verified value. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna create a new class. So I'm gonna right click our MySuite program over here and add new file. This time I'm going to create a student, capital S, brand new class, looks good. We're gonna get rid of that default constructor. We're gonna get into the constructors really soon here. So we have the student, the way we tell it to inherit from user is we put a colon after the class name and then put its, uh, its mama. So we're just gonna say user. Now, I want to create a user. So go over and program, and you can do it in main, or you can instantiate with a, a normal instance method, whatever you want to do. And what we're going to do is we're just going to say student me is equal to new student. And this works. But here's the cool thing. We can say me dot, oh, look at all that. We got first name, full name, and last name. But what the heck, we didn't put that inside a student. That's actually coming from the user class that it inherits from. So we get access to all those properties so we can use this just like we would a user. So we can set its first name to hmm, jingle and we can output this to the console, very simple. Me.firstName or you could even use me.fullName. Oh. Sorry guys if I'm a little weird today, I'm just, it's getting a little late. <laughs> .NET run this noob. And look at that, we got a jingle right in the console. Now, when someone verifies their account, we can basically toggle that Boolean to true. So let's say that happens, we can then say me.verified and assign it the value true. Now I also want to create a hello method in the user class that we're going to inherit from. And we're gonna be talking about that in the next video. So stay tuned, we're gonna get into a lot of cool stuff, so I'm pretty stoked, hopefully you are as well.